So something I wanted to go over here today is uh, custom product mockups that our customers tend to order from us. Now you can design a ton of different product variations using our inbuilt tools. Um, however, there are probably thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of different product shapes on the market. And I'm completely aware that we can only cover so many of them using a template. So what I wanted to show in this demo is how such a custom product looks like and how to integrate it into your product shots template. Essentially, you don't really need to design anything here. We've built some tools over here for ourselves to speed up the process of customizing these products, but that's essentially only for our own internal use. And even if you look at its controls, um, you'll notice that we don't have the usual controls here to change its uh, its size or shape or even material. Uh, and the reason for that is that this product has been already matched up to the reference photos that our customer would have sent us. So the only things you can change here is the color of the lid and the color of the bottle, as those are important um, in case the product has some variations. Um, and you can also add the grip if you want to. And then you can change the highlights on the label. And you can change the product's reflection on the ground. And that's about it, since essentially this should be a copy of a product that uh, someone has sent us. Now let's take a look at how do we bring this into our product shots template. So I'm going to open up my product shots. And here's a shot of the three bottles, um, kind of slowly rotating. And what I'm going to do next is go File, Import, File, and select a custom bottle that we would typically send to someone. Uh, we open it. Let's just drop this uh, AAP here. And we find our custom bottle. And we can then take the middle guy here and swap it out with our newly imported bottle. As I've already said in the past, the only thing that you need to remember here is to have this layer selected, as well as the custom bottle in the Assets tab. We then hold down the Alt or the Option key on the keyboard and drag it over like this. Release the Option key and you have the placeholder replaced with our new custom bottle. We'll do the same for the two back bottles. And there we go. We can now scale them up a bit. And then I want to place them a little tighter together. Let's preview this. And here's our camera slowly rotating around our three bottles. Alright, and that's how easy it was to have a custom bottle added to your template. I know people are asking us about this all the time, so I hope this uh, quick demo was uh, helpful to understand the process.